Here's how Michael Jordan ruined Kwame Brown's career. So when Jordan became president of basketball operations and part owner of the Washington Wizards in the year 2000, it wasn't because he had a reputation of being a successful manager. It was because he was Michael Jordan, the greatest player to ever live, and teams just wanted to have him because, well, he was MJ. On the court, he was ruthless, an offensive assassin who didn't shy away from taking any shots. The same can be said when he's off the court as well because of his super high competitive nature. Jordan isn't afraid of voicing his opinions or getting in people's faces and let's just say Kwame Brown cop probably the worst out of all people. I think that Jordan probably ruined Kwame Brown's career and shaped him up to be the biggest NBA draft bust of all time. At least one of them because the other guy, we'll talk about him later. He stands as one example of a young, talented phenom who never lived up to their hype. However, this situation as a Washington Wizard certainly wasn't helped by the general manager who drafted him, aka Michael Jordan. Now before I get started with the video, I just want to say that first off, I know I haven't posted in about a week, my bad, school is just hectic at the moment. I also want to say that I met a few of you guys over the over the past week. I signed a few autographs, took some photos with you guys, so that was awesome. Shout out to you guys, you know who you are. And I just want to say that if you guys enjoy these types of videos, it would be awesome if you guys could hit that subscribe button. And yeah, if you guys could leave a like, that would be awesome as well. But uh, let's just get into the video. Now, I will say this, and people never talk about this when they're discussing the Kwame Brown and Michael Jordan relationship, because it's honestly hard to really understand. And Honestly, it started out really well. In fact, it started out as a big brother-little brother relationship, or more of a father-son relationship. Sounds weird, but I will get into that. When no one wanted Brown, Mike did. He picked Kwame Brown with the first overall pick in the 2002 NBA Draft, but we all know that. What you probably don't know is this story. Now, we all know that Kwame Brown already had confidence issues. I mean, he was really not confident at all. Despite being one of the highly scouted players entering in the 2002 draft, Kwame said this after being drafted number one overall. The guy probably took the biggest risk of his life, picking a high school player number one overall. This is what Kwame Brown said. I'm conscious that if I screw up, I'm messing with Michael's reputation. I know he's going to work me to death. Now, come on now, let's be honest, he was absolutely shitting himself, immediately, immediately after Jordan drafted him, but Jordan actually invited Kwame to his house so they could work out together. He took him under his wing, until Mike realized that they were completely different, and their personalities just wouldn't cooperate. So quickly after drafting Kwame Brown, obviously the Wizards had to train, obviously like every team. Training involved every player that was part of the Wizards organization. And during training, apparently Jordan, obviously being a player at the time, since he was obviously manager and player, he made it incredibly tough for other players, but especially for rookie Kwame Brown. According to Kwame, and I quote, he ritually reduced Brown to tears in front of the team, and more reprehensively, constantly referred to Brown as a flaming faggot. Now that is just crazy, and of course it's straight up savage. I know that Jordan is a tough guy and all, but... Man, that is probably going too far in my opinion. Not to mention, I believe that this is true because no one has ever denied this statement. Kwame hadn't, Jordan hasn't, and none of the players have, so if nobody's denied it, it's an obvious statement, and I believe it's true. That's what Jordan said to Kwame Brown. So, obviously the clash of personalities was just messed up to the max, to put it in really simple terms. I mean, this is what Kwame Brown said the night before being drafted to his coach. His high school coach, he said, Coach, I don't want to do this. If I'm the number one player taken, I know the expectations. I'm so far away from being the number one pick, I'm not ready for this. I don't know about you, but this man Kwame Brown has lacked confidence from day one. Even before day one. Day negative 25, Kwame Brown lacked confidence. From before entering the NBA, Kwame Brown just had no confidence. So despite sowing shines of what he could do on the court, he just had no confidence, which is crazy because... He was a decent player in high school. Yeah, I know that he was a year older in high school, which made him dominate a little bit more. Plus, he was a little bit taller and bigger. But he, he still just had no confidence, and it was just his personality. On the contrary, Michael Jordan has been the complete opposite. He might just be one of the most confident people in the world. It's his competitive nature that would obviously drive him to be the greatest basketball player of all time. But like I said, 
Brown is the complete opposite of Mike and could not work with someone like that. Mike just couldn't work with someone like Kwame Brown. He just can't. He's too aggressive and insane to deal with. I mean, let's be honest, for someone who calls another man a sook, soft and well, a flaming faggot, that's just crazy. So can you just imagine being drafted and all this happening before your first NBA game? Let alone you just came out of high school. Not college, high school. You're a teenager. Your idol, the man you look up to, and the man you could count on as a father figure since your father had left you and murdered his girlfriend, so your dad's locked up in jail for life. Finally, you get drafted after all these years of your mother suffering, looking after your siblings, and you get drafted to take care of them? You want to join the NBA to care for them? And then here comes Jordan, a man you thought you could trust, a man you thought you would have as a father figure in the NBA, a mentor, someone you could look up to. Instead, he becomes a savage and insults you on the daily. Yeah, that's how Michael Jordan ruined Kwame Brown's career. I mean, Kwame maybe had 1% of confidence entering the NBA. After his first training with Jordan, his confidence would have dropped to negative 1,000. I mean, Kwame would have a bad game. He'd get booed by the fans and then practice with Jordan, who would just obliterate him whenever he made a mistake. Jordan wouldn't let up, even when Kwame Brown was working hard to try and improve. And no one called Jordan out because he was a legend. By drafting Kwame Brown number one, he made it his responsibility to mentor Kwame. Instead, he just humiliated him. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, I want to ask you, what do you think? Did Michael Jordan ruin Kwame Brown's career? Because Kwame obviously had a little bit of skill. A little bit of skill entering the NBA. I mean, he got drafted number one. You have to have a little bit of skill to be drafted number one. I think he just lacked confidence and Jordan just ruined him. But I know that Kwame cops a lot of criticism, but now you can see why he lacks so much confidence heading into his NBA career. And it didn't help playing under Jordan and then Kobe Bryant later on. Two of the biggest egos in the NBA of all time. But at least there was no Anthony Bennett, right? <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, it would be awesome if you guys could hit that subscribe button. And let's aim for 3,000 likes. That would be awesome. And if you guys have any other video suggestions, let me know down below in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace!